Are you in need of a secure logging solution? Or to verify any rich identity data on a personal or organizational level as part of, example, uh, for example, an onboarding process? Or perhaps you're in need of a digital signature solution? Well, Signicat has it all and more. Stick around uh, to this webinar uh, to learn the basics uh, of how this works and also how to try it out for yourself. Let's get started. Let's start with authentication. Uh, via our API hub, you can get access to 30 plus different EIDs uh, that can be easily integrated into your service to, to improve your onboarding process as well as recurring logins. Uh, my colleague, Eric, will now show you how to easily this can be set up. Uh, over to you, Eric. So let's take a look at a demonstration of an authentication. Uh, we will be using a protocol called OpenID Connect to do this authentication. The way it works is that we make this uh, authorization URL you see in the middle of the screen, and then we plug that into a browser. So you can imagine uh, an end user going to your website or your app and then pressing a login button. Then they will be redirected to this URL. So um, let's try it out. I have the exact same uh, URL right here. So let's copy that one and paste it into the browser. Uh, what you see now is uh, Signicat's uh, ID provider window. Uh, here you can see the Danish MIT ID, Norwegian bank ID, and Italian SPID, and also Swedish bank ID. So you can decide for, your, for yourself if you want them to appear like this, or if uh, you, you know a person is uh, Norwegian, you might just want to take them directly into Norwegian bank ID and show this window um, right away. And you can, of course, do that. So let's log in um, using a Norwegian Bank ID test account right now. And if you're, you're using another EID provider, you can find test information in our uh, developer um, documentation pages. So this is the final step in the authentication, and then we will be redirected to the URL we set in the authentication page or in the authentication URL. I mean, so that's it. Uh, if you want to try this out for yourself, you can create an account in the Zenicat dashboard, where you'll get this client ID, and then you just uh, replace this one. And uh, you set your own you, uh, redirect URL if you want to, to do that. So what would typically happen is on the back end, you would fetch information about the end user that has just authenticated. So such uh, data as name, personal ID, uh, date of birth. And then you can get uh, a lot more data depending on which EID provider you use. And we also have support for REST API and SAML 2.0 for authentications. Okay, so moving on. Um, some companies are under anti-money laundering laws that requires you to do some know your customer or know your business checks. So we have the resources ready to do that. And if you're not under anti-money laundering laws, you can maybe still find some of our resources helpful, uh, as I will show you on the next slide. So a typical anti-money laundering process involves retrieving additional info after an authentication. So typically the address, a politically exposed person, and sanction status. What you need is dependent on national anti-money laundering laws. So you can check that out for uh, your market. So let's take a look at a demo of this as well. Uh, a typical integration process here is that you have your backend in step one and you connect that to Signicat's information service API. And that API is connected to numerous data sources. And we standardize and normalize that data and then send it back to you. We'll take a look at this in a Postman demo. 
So what we'll do right now is to take that personal ID we got from the authentication. We know that it's an Norwegian person, and then we'll send just those two information points into the Signicat Information Service API, and then take a look at the output. So what we want is the address. We want maybe some nationality, uh, and then we also want to check the politically exposed person and sanction list. So let's move over to Postman. Uh, I'm in this collection right here called Scenicart Information API in our DTP platform. Uh, I'll just get a new access token here. You will find uh, information and a quick start guide on our developer pages on how to do this. Uh, then we'll go to the basic endpoint under persons. What I'm doing here is just passing in the identity number we got from the authentication and then specifying the country. So uh, Norway in this case. Then I'm clicking send and the response is down here. Uh, this is from the Norwegian government registry. Um, it would look the same if you want to do it for Sweden, Finland, Denmark, for example, or a lot of different uh, countries, actually. Then it would just change this country code. Um, we can see we got name back. We got some birth information. We got uh, citizenship, uh, permanent address we got here. And um, we also can see which source we get it from. So this is just a test uh, person. So you can contact us if you want to know exactly what kind of information you will get back. So that was the address. Let's also do a politically exposed person and sanction check. So I got into this screening collection here, this um, get request. Then we're doing the exact same thing. We're passing in the ID number. We're saying it's an Norwegian person. And we also want to check the PEP and sanction status. So let's uh, send this. And what we get back is that this uh, person, it's also a test person, is on the PEP list, politically exposed person list. And we can see that we have a high certainty of uh, searching for the right person based on what the information we passed in. So it's 100% because of... Uh, the personal ID is very certain in this case. All right, going back to the slides. So we have a wide range of um, data categories uh, where you can do different kinds of lookups. What we did now was for individuals only, basic info and also PEP and sanction list. You could also do address validation and finance checks. And for businesses, uh, typically know your business uh, screening cases, you can do a lot of different business checks in a wide variety of markets. Uh, as you see an example of, uh, with all the different data sources we have, uh, and we have uh, also a lot that's not shown on this uh, slide. And now over to electronic signatures. We offer an API solution to integrate digital signing directly into your existing services, as well as a standalone application where you simply log in uh, and send out documents for, for digital signing uh, called Docubit. All signatures made via our APIs or Docubit fulfills all of the EDAS regulations and are available in multiple forms such as standard electronic signature, advanced electronic signature, and qualified electronic signature. All right, so let's take a look at the drag and drop Docubit uh, signing solution that we have, uh, and we'll do this in a demo. Um, so right now we are in app.docubit.com. I've logged in uh, to our Cineca demo uh, application, and I will show you how quick and easy it can be to sign uh, a document and send it out for signing. Okay, on the top right, I'm clicking on upload the document. We want to sign a PDF. 
and then we're uploading the document. We're going to sign this letter of intent document, and then we're adding the people that's going to sign this document here in point number three. Um, so I will add my Gmail to sign this document. Um, and we can also delete the signer if we want to do that. And we can add people that are in our address book. So I'll add uh, Cecilia, my colleague, to also sign this document. If I want the first person to sign first and then Cecilia to sign afterwards, I can add a workflow. Uh, so it gets sent out to, to one person first and then to the next. Uh, or we can set up a people that only has access to a document. Uh, we can add a message to the participants. And we can set a deadline here on the right side. Um, we can also allow to use video-based signing uh, with our uh, electronic uh, ID solution uh, that will result in a qualified electronic signature. Okay, so let's send this out. And then uh, it's sent out by mail. And then we can see this overview page here where we can track the document and we can change some things if we have to do that. Right now it says uh, waiting for uh, the first signature. Uh, so I'm going into my Gmail and then checking this docobit mail we've uh, received where we have done some branding. We changed the, changed the logo to Cinecut and also the colors to match Cinecut's uh, colors. And you can do your own branding here to make it look like your own company has sent out this uh, email. And our message appeared here. Okay, let's click review and sign. Uh, our document is on the left side and then the signature on the right side. We can choose different uh, signing methods here. And this is the video-based um, methods. Uh, then we just click continue and then we sign it with uh, uh, a method uh, of my choice. I'm not going to do it here, but uh, if both uh, Cecilia and me sign, it would be uh, ready to be downloaded as a signed file. And we can also track the document here in the overview page. All right, moving on. We also have uh, other solutions that might be interesting to take a look at. We have uh, a sign signature REST API. So when you have to integrate yourself, that can be integrated in your own system. We have a broad range of features, customizations you can do there to make uh, the signing process look and feel more like your own solution. We also have a mobile ID solution that's uh, app tailored. Uh, it has biometrics and it's BDS2 compliant. Uh, and it provides an identity store and it allows you to create reusable identities. Uh, we can also do trust orchestration. So uh, we can build, visualize, and automate the business flows for risk, onboarding, authentication, and signing. So this is more of a drag and drop solution. Thank you, Erik. Uh, Sinicat offers the full digital identity lifecycle. Uh, and there are easily integrated APIs. Uh, you can get access to all of these different products, uh, as well as data sources to help you and your customers uh, with anything from onboarding, uh, to recurring authentication, to digital signing, to KYC and AML services. Uh, today we have 13,000 plus different customers and we are trusted by some of the largest companies in the world and we handle many, many millions of transactions uh, each month. So you can be sure that our services fulfill the highest level of security and compliances. If you would like to try this out yourself, uh, please go ahead and create a free test account and visit us at one of our uh, websites here. Uh, either developer.scenicat.com or docubit.com. Uh, and please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions regarding anything that we have shown you here today. Thank you.